hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt today we are going to discuss about the dynamic azure ql query in apex so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel please turn on the bell icon so you never be miss any kind of update from my side and please watch this video until end so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let's understand what is dynamic azure ql query in apex so this is for you know like make the Apex dynamic variable can be used in SQL and more flexible and adaptable caching data. If you need some data from the database, you can use two types of you know query in the Salesforce, SQL and, and SOSL. By using dynamic variable, we can modify the dynamic queries and at the runtime, allowing you to retrieve the data based on the user inputs and other caching conditions. So I will show you the where clauses and uh, dynamic queries and how to avoid SQL injection, right? Also, I will show you how to fetch all fields data, SO object data, and uh, a dynamic variable in SQL queries. This kind of example I will show you with in this video. So please stay tuned, right? So I have some points regarding this dynamic SQL. Right. So to use dynamic variable in a SQL query, you can use the string dot format method to create a dynamic SQL query. Okay, and execute the query using the database dot query method. So I will show you this kind of you know methods inside our SQL, and you can also use SQL bind variable to filter condition order by limit and offset clauses. And best practice to use bind variable in SQL queries, as it helps to in prevent SQL injection attacks and improve the performance of our caching queries plans right so how to show you this kind of things let me show you that one right so now first of all let me show you that first example and uh, how many ways to write this dynamic SQL query in Apex you can see here so first of all let me show you the simple way to write uh, dynamic SQL so if you are using VS code so you can use it uh, under the script folder you can see this demi file hello.apex right so you can write your execute anonymous code inside this vs code so i already created this setup if you don't know how to connect this vs code with salesforce you can watch my previous videos or you know any kind of playlist in my youtube channel right salesforce hunt so just here let me create one list as of object list so it's as of object list right once you create this one, let me show you obj list equal to and uh, just you can directly use database. This class contain different types of method. So one method is query and it's asking the query. So you can write your query inside this method. So this is the one of the method right in Apex like database dot query under this single code. You can write your query. Let's say ID comma name from the account right so how to check that one let me show you so so system dot debug first of all let me check the size of this list so we can use like as object this one dot size method right so size method always gives the in integer so you can is store as another variable or you can print directly here in the same same line so how to execute it so just here you can see the execute on apex just click on this one and immediately you will be see the result of this query so now come here and immediately you can see 393 three records right so under the line number two here you can see this red one that is called debug so I already connected this org inside this VS code that's why you can see my size here of my queries records right so this is the one way to write the dynamic sql query now second way how to use the where clauses inside this dynamic sql query so let me tell you here first of all you have to create one variable as a string type and where clauses you can write like this okay where clause and equal to you can write in single quote because it's a string and let's say any name as you want let's say manner right so I want to check this one inside my query so you can use like list of you know as object again as object and under here let's say 
as object list data equal to and we can use this database right database dot query method under this query we can write our query like this so under single quote right always remember select id comma name right and from which object account object so i want to use account an object here and where name right name not equal to and we can use this not equal to and after that you have to use this bind variable like colon and the where clause so where clause we already created this variable that's why i'm referring here not equal to this one and let's see the result of this one right so let me execute this one first of all and clear the console here let me execute it now immediately you will be see two logs first is 393 and second one also 393 and let's say not equal to this is the not equal to let me tell you the name exactly and uh, let me tell you here my name here if anyone is available with this name it will showing the size of the SQL query so let me execute this one clear it and let's see the output so once you will be see here like 393 is the total one because I'm not using any kind of condition here in this line number one but in line number five you can see the where close that's why you can see the three result right so this is the way to write the where close inside this dynamic SQL query now third way let me sh tell you this one and you can s learn this uh, you know dynamic things inside this uh, uh, SQL dynamic queries right so I will break this uh, you know like uh, this kind of a string in multiple parts so how to use that let me show you here uh, once you have this kind of uh, you know like uh, queries you can always write like si single queries and you know like some conditions and uh, let me show you the break points inside this SQL query so first of all let me comment this one right and once you've done it now you have to do let's say a string from account right and you have to give let's say account as an object here right and uh, a string another variable select str and I'm using here in single quote let's say select a statement select ID comma name right this one and once you've done it now you have to do one thing here right so let me create the string as a query here like query right and uh, query equal to we can use concatenation uh, between these two strings you can write uh, first is you know string control Z let me remove it control Y okay so string query equal to uh, select a string okay so you have to give one space here that's why you can see the error so let me execute this one now immediately you will be see the output of this query so just here come down now immediately you can see the here output 393 right so this is the third way to write the SQL query into the multiple parts based on your requirement you can use it and let me show you the another things inside this one so this is the another way right now this is the where clause we already use in the second step here and also how to use the where clause or like operator inside this is uh, dynamic SQL query let me show you here so just you have to do one thing just where close we already created some you know from account and select str so you have to create another variable here that is called a string right a string where close and in the where close we can create or you can check my name right let's say this one and uh, how to use this where close inside this one so just you have to use like select str plus from account this is the already there right again you have to use concatenation and where close where name equals to uh, 
this where clause name right so just let me execute this and let's see the output here so just come down now you can see immediately three records right in here so this is the where clause inside this string and small parts of you know like break the SQL query in the small small parts so based on your requirement you can use it now let me show you the like operator how to use like operator inside this where clause at a time so just very simple just copy it or just paste it here or just commit this one comments this one and now after that you have to use like where name and like operator and you can use it like this let me show you here so where name like like this so here you can see the like operator with the name and where close as well right at a time you can see the two operator two types of you know like uh, closing right so just click on this execute here okay so let me show you this output here it's a five right so where you can see name like Rohit so it can be anything start from Rohit or ending from IIT so that's why you can see this records like five you can see this five records right so you can use it any kind of you know clauses inside this dynamic SQL query also let me tell you how to avoid the SQL injection inside our you know like dynamic SQL query so it's very simple and please this is the best practice to use inside our dynamic SQL query so let's say let me tell you this one here so once you write this one like where close and something like that right so before that you have to use like a string class so it's a string class here a string dot and a string contained is escape single cot this method right so under this method we have to pass our clauses and let me close it from here it's avoid the you know like uh, always the sql injection attack or you know you can see here in the single codes inside this one right so let me show you this one it, it will work or not so it's a very simple and very powerful queries builder right between them so now here and once you execute immediately you can see the five records same record so this string dot sing escape single codes always use you know like avoid the uh, SQL injection attacks right so always use this one in your queries right so this is the way to write sql query inside this apex right so uh, guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like this is very informative for us please subscribe the channel like share and comments and please turn on the bell icon so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys